What is going on YouTube and welcome back to another Madden 22 Ultimate Z video guys. It is Sunday fantasy week two of playoffs. Huge week. I'm um, in a round. I need to win this out guys. I need to win this out. I hope you guys win your fantasy weeks today. I hope you guys your favorite team wins today. Um, but yeah, 1 million coin giveaway. We do hit 2k by New Year's. Uh, we did a little giveaway yesterday. Brayden, uh, not Simon, Brayden. I forget who won. Brayden, Nick, and Doa. Shout out to you guys for winning that giveaway. Uh, we did a little Kahoot game. So next time, we're probably going to do some more Kahoot games soon in the future. But 100K giveaway tomorrow. So if you guys new guy, if you guys are new, subscribe, comment 1 mil slash 100K to enter both of those giveaways. And let's get into this video. So what to do in Mutt right now. Guys, it's kind of like a refresh. Um, we're getting some more, you know, zero chill content. Derrick Henry and Marlon Humphrey are going to be in packs, I think, tomorrow, which is the 27th. Yeah, so on Monday or tomorrow, Derrick Henry and um, Marlon Humphrey will be in packs. So I'm going to be preparing for that. For you guys, uh, you know, if you want to prepare for that, same thing, kind of guess. Um, 85 plus rerolls will be the method for that, guys. And I really do truly mean that. If they are in those packs, this right here will be the method. I made a lot of coins off of this this weekend, guys, um, with the LTDs. Tomorrow, these LTDs, wait for tomorrow. Stack up everything you got and wait for tomorrow. What to do today? Um, you know, honestly, grinding soul battles is not a bad idea for today. If you want to grind up your, your stuff for tomorrow, not a bad idea if you want to grind up soul battles. Your rewards are not going to be that good because, you know, you probably didn't play the rest of the week. But like I said, not a bad idea. You're probably going to get a little bit of packs, a little bit of coins. You know, if you have nothing and you don't know what to do, like, why? If, like, there's nothing else to do other than that, really. Actually, no, let me not say that. That's not true. But that's a big way to help you, you know, get some coins for tomorrow. We're going to talk about a bunch of different coin making methods. And a big one is getting training. The cheapest training on the block. The market did crash. So 92s are a whole lot cheaper. I would think 92s are the cheapest training right now. I don't want to give you guys false information. So let's go check Mud GG real quick. I'm not even gonna like show you guys the screen. I'll just tell you. Um, 91s are for 58k, 7k were the training. 92s are around 87k. I find that very hard to believe, but we're gonna go look at the auction together really quick. 78s for seven, uh, 900 training. Getting those, not a bad idea. Bone nose players are coming out tomorrow. When these bone nose rerolls come out, you want to get you know maybe twenty thousand worth of training by two ninety twos and put it onto the bone nose rerolls. Um, if you get eighty fives, eighty sixes, you know keep them. Do whatever you want with them. Kind of like how the fifty was last year. So keep the eighty fives and eighty sixes, and obviously sell the ninety fours, ninety fives, whatever you do pull. Um, you know that's a good coin making method. But guys, keeping the eighty fives and the eighty sixes, um, you know stack as many as you can up, and then you know throw one into a set and get them for basically not free because you're spending training on it but you know stack up as many bow nose players as you can and then of course you know just put it in the set That's pretty much it but get the training put in the 78 plus quick sell for snow unless you pull a 93 or something and then do the 85 pluses every 93 you pull you keep and then every you know you don't have to keep them but you know quick sell for snow whatever you want to do um and then, yeah, you can keep the 93s or whatever and then sell the LTDs that you do pull if you pull an LTD. Remember, save that for tomorrow. I'm pretty sure LTDs are out of packs today, which is Sunday. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think they might be. Um, so, yeah, I was actually wrong. I, I guess that market crash was not for long. Uh, really not for long. So, I don't really know. I guess that these guys are, I guess the 91s are the best train to get. So, cheapest train to get, whatever it is, buy it, putting it into those rerolls. And that's basically it for the store offers. Uh, we need some XP methods for you guys. The best way and fastest ways to level up right now. We got zero chill missions and we got a whole lot of them. Didn't mean to click on that. Let's go and show you guys those zero chill missions right here. Go to Ultimate Season. Guys, the best way of completing these soul battles, head to head, weekend league, house rules, and of course, soul challenge. Challenges. All the way to the left, you can see these two right here. Get your ornaments, save up your ornaments, and you can get a 92 plus Ghost of Madden player if you get 12 ornaments. Super, super easy to do. Um, I spent mine. I can actually still do this now that I realize that. What is it? 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I have 11, and then plus the solo challenges if I finish these. Um, some of these chat like this one right here is almost impossible to be honest with you but whatever um guys these challenges are not that hard but like i said you know rush rush yards win 25 games with two passing touchdowns in each 
Um, that one's kind of hard, I'm not going to lie, it takes some time. Complete 15-0 chill sets, literally just exchanges is the method for that one. Uh, win 25 games with a Ghost of Madden player in your lineup. Guys, go and get, go and do the solos for the Ghost of Madden NCAT. It's super, super easy to do. I completed it myself. And uh, get a position you are in need of and just throw it in your lineup and it's pretty simple. Uh, win 60 games, that one's hard as hell. We earn 450 stars in the Zero Chill Challenges. Go grind the solos. You get mad rewards. Presents are gone, so you can't get presents, but 78 pluses, 85 pluses, you know, ornaments, uh, snow, free players, you know, things like that. Score 60 passing touchdowns. Easy. It just comes as you go. Get 25, get 25 sacks. Easy. Comes as you go. Win 10 at Soul Battle or head-to-head -head games and play Soul Battles or Weekend League or House Rules, whatever you want to do. Doing all these guys is going to get you mad ornaments, which we'll talk about what to put it to. I said the ghost ones, but you don't have to do it to that one. And of course, daily objectives too. Same type of thing. So those are your best ways to level up, guys. Like I said, soul battles, head-to-head, -head, weekend league. What soul challenges do you want to play right now? Because, you know, we don't get content Wednesdays, Thursdays anymore. Or Tuesdays for Team of the Week. You know, we get really these. Play all these Christmas challenges. Super, super worth it. You get a bunch of good stuff from all these. This one specifically, the Mutt Miss E, Mutt Miss Ornament, 10,000 Snow, 78+, plus, 10,000 Snow, another Ornament, 85+, plus, 5,000 Snow, another Ornament, another 5,000, and 85 plus zero chill player i mean that's absolutely fire if you ask me goes to madden you get a free 92 once you get that you know you can stop i feel like it's kind of worthless after that and then this you just get a bunch of snow and pre uh well presents are gone so i wonder what you get instead of a present or maybe they just give you a random present of whatever maybe i don't know um no mother another mutt miss ornament things like that um free legend if you play all these not all 44 but if you play 40 of them uh, you get a free legend, so why not play it? And get welcome to Zero Chill, Stocking Stuffers, Gridiron Forge 4, Team of the Week. And yeah, that's pretty much it, I would say, honestly. That's pretty much it. Bo knows if you want some free 85, 86s, why not? And uh, yeah, those are all the solos to play. So what to do, go to sets. Um, now, rest of the coin making methods here. We already talked about one big one. That's 85 plus. That one is very risky. The bow nose very risky as well. The bow nose you do eventually get rewarded for it though, because you are going to be pulling, you know, 85s, 86s. If you do pull a 94, 95, you're already up, and you just save the rest of what you pull. And literally, guys, you just put it into the set and wait for next week, or just keep grinding it up throughout the week. That's what I used to do. That's how I got my Randall Cunningham. I got my Randall Cunningham. I don't want to say for free because I did put a lot of training into it, but basically free. I put it in the set the day it came out, and I got it right away. You guys want to do the same thing. Um, set wise, make some coins, guys. Doing these exchanges, you know, really, really helpful. I actually got a 93 this way, and I took, I saved a lot of coins. Doing this 78 plus is kind of hard to do, and getting this 83 uh, kind of hard to do. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, kind of hard to do. If you do those rerolls, keep every 78 to 79 you pull. Do not sell it. There's no point in it. And then just grind up these exchanges, get as many you know 93s as you can. And personally, guys, I wouldn't put it into any of these sets, but. It's not a bad idea if you do put it in any of these sets. Reasoning is because you get 98K worth of snow back. Sorry, guys, my eyes are just super itchy. I don't know why. But you get 98K worth of snow back, and you get a 95, and you can just sell that 95 for 300K. Or what you could do is a lot easier is getting two 93s and one 89, and just getting a Ghost of Madden's Pass Player, a 95 overall that you want. These are really good cards. All these are fire. And yeah, you know, just keeping one of these, not a bad idea at all. Um, that's cheap too. You don't get any snow out of this though. So it's up to you which one you want to do. Um, personally, I'm not a big fan of these stocking stuffers. Um, they are good, but you know, not that they're hard to get, but you know, they kind of are hard to get. Mad 83s, mad 85s, 287s, and an 89. I mean, I feel like it's just too much work to get. And then, you know, getting one of these 94s, there's really no method for this, to be honest with you. And uh, I don't want to say that's it. Oh, no, I forgot about the uh, the ornaments. I completely forgot about the ornaments. So, Mutt Mysteries, what to use your ornaments on? That is this 92 plus Ghost Mad player, or this 85 plus, or the 78 plus. Stick with these three right here. Obviously, this 93 one isn't bad either, but personally, I take the risk and go with the 92 plus, or not, nah, because you know, some these ornaments, guys. I'm not even going to lie to you. These ornaments, like 78 pluses, 85 pluses, I've only pulled like trash. I didn't pull anything good out of these. So it's up to you what you want to do with it. And I want to say that's pretty much it for this video. Don't forget, guys, keep all of your strategy items. Rack them up until you get a rare one through the exchanges. 
And um, that's pretty much it, guys. New focus, new focus. Save your coins, save everything. You know, you want to pull LTs, I get that. Um, you want to take some risks. If you're a small stack like me, look at how broke I am. Save your coins, save everything. And guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, man, smash that like button. Subscribe if you turn that Noti bell and join the Noti gang. Thank you guys for watching. That's pretty much it, boys. Peace.